22. Oh, that was beautifully played. He's absolutely perfect. Or as near as. All right, it's going to be a high-ish black off the spot. Oh, dang. He forgot to pot the pink. That was all. Nothing to do with pressure. He was thinking about getting nice on 22. the black. Yes, maybe sacrifice the pot for the easiest final ball, but now they both need pink and black. Alan sportingly tapping the table there because the judgment of pace had to be fairly precise. Here's a half chance. The ball's automatically going to be down very close to the black if he gets the pot. Something similar for Mark then. No, it's no good, but he's seven in front. That could Six. be handy. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice by Ding. He had a little bit of fun with the crowd there. Yeah. It's kind of like the, the situation for Ding here. It's almost like he's got to win two, not six. two respots, but two black ball games, isn't it? It seems a tall order, but one step at a time. In his first round win over Tom Ford, Mark Williams won two frames on a respotted black. Are we going to see the extra ball required again? Head bowed, the contact wasn't fit for purpose. You no, know, it was a D cell, wasn't it? He was trying to play a speculative double and maybe black back down the cushion. This ain't a cinch, though. Should get it. But it's tough. It was a tough one. Oh. Alan's got such a Terrific temperament, but no one's immune to missing 
when the nerves are frayed. Decider winner in frame 16. We're down to a respotted black again. It's been a tournament littered with them. And of course, the toss is important. Smashing frame. You choose. You bet. You bet. Queenie Liu, the referee, telling Mark Allen that he'd won the toss and saying, you choose to Mark Allen. She thought he wanted a break, but there was no way. <laughs> no way. Oh, no. OK, then. Side to side. Pretty good. Yeah, nod of the head by Mark. Sort of tells us that he, all he can do here is defend. Just push the black onto the end cushion, I think. That's all he's got. Remember, it's already been a titanic effort from Ding. 65 behind he was with 67 on. He's done it again. He sent it over the top right corner, and this time Mark Allen ain't going to miss it. I think, again, he played the speculative pot in that pocket but with more pace it was a minimum a mini D cell again gonna cost them Ding was one ball away from getting two up with three to play Seven, the frame as it is it's all square and this best of 19 is now distilled into a best of three